Holy Clavish should be. Watch out for skeletons.
right then. Impress me. After all this, these murals better blow me away. Or else I'm gonna have some words for you. We used to have this old rhyme, you know. Come, pity poor Etro, she was left all alone. Her blood pouring forth in chaos to atone. Queen of nothing, goddess of death, so let her be known. And then Lindsay, in his wisdom, used the blood that flowed from Etro to give birth to the first humans. Yeah, so we could do his dirty work. Among my people, Lindsay was known as a trickster, never to be trusted. Though, in the end, even our own god was no different. Pulse used us and threw us away all the same. Yeah. I think we've all learned not to trust the gods. At least it gave me the chance to meet you all. But then, after hundreds more years in Crystal, we wake up again. And for what? So Vanille can go mad listening to the cries of the dead? The gods want to make us pawns. But Vanille and me, we're done playing their games. It needs to stop. Vanille and Fang. They once supported Cocoon in their crystal sleep, frozen forever in time. But why did they awake now, at the end of everything? What purpose could God have in doing such a thing? What sort of plan does he have up his sleeve? <laughs> 